Hi, can you hear me? Yes, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. How are you? Uh, very well, teacher. It's a raining and oh. it's raining in Lourdes. Lourdes. Yes, oh. yes. Uh, I live. I live in Ciudad del Salles. <clears throat> o sea, <clears throat> I work in Lourdes. Okay. Mm -hmm. And you, okay, yes, I remember. Okay. How was your day today? Uh, my day going a lot of work. Um, <laughs> a lot of work in my work, in my house. A lot of work in your house, too. Okay. Yes, yes. Okay, I see. Let me open the platform. Hello, Allison. Welcome. Hello, teacher. How are you? I'm fine. And you? I'm good. How was your day today? Uh, a little busy, but it's okay. You work in a call center, correct? No, I work for a company. I'm sorry, in what company? In a software company. Oh, yeah, a software company. What do you do in that software company? I am a developer. Oh, you're a software developer. Cool. So what do you um what does a software developer do? Uh it develops um, solutions or some required requirements of the clients. Um, I work for a company and I am, the client is uh, Frontier is similar to Claro mm -hmm. in the United States and uh, we give support to uh, <laughs> troubleshooting a platform that is made for agents of call centers. <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> yeah. What do you think the best browser is? Do you think Chrome is the best or Firefox? Uh, we use uh, Chrome. Well, I use Chrome for work, but for personal, I use Firefox. But it's mm, it's I think Chrome is best, better, mm -hmm. but uh, Firefox has some extension that makes me my personal uh, life better <laughs> because yeah. we uh, I have a blocker for mm -hmm. YouTube and uh, I don't I don't see any any app. Well, you have a blogger. Uh, an ad blocker. Oh, okay. Yeah, oh, for YouTube. For, yes, for YouTube or some sites for movies or series. Oh, that's cool, man. Did you pay mm -hmm. for that or you downloaded it? No, I downloaded it. In In Pirate Bay. In Firefox. Oh, okay. It's an extension. But um, actually, uh, I don't know if now it's free because I uh, I got it for a long time ago. <laughs> okay. Okay. Welcome, class. Now, uh, let's see. Do you see the screen? Do you see the lady in the video? Yes, teacher, I see. So yes. we're going to do the passive and present continuous and present uh, in future. Remember the passive voice? Yes. Yes, sir. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right, good. Let's watch the video. Hold on. Let me put. Let me share sound. 
Okay, let's watch your video. Hi, in English we tend to use passive voice a lot. Stay and learn how to use it in present continuous, present perfect and future. Passive of present continuous, present perfect, future. Use these passive tenses for action where the emphasis is on the object of the action. Use the passive of the present continuous for ongoing actions. An increasing number of degrees are being offered online. Use the passive of the present perfect for recently completed actions. More music has been downloaded this year than ever before. Use will plus passive or be going to plus passive for actions that will begin in the future. More computers will be affected by viruses. More healthcare sites are going to be used by people from home. The passive is most often used when it is not known or it is not important to know who performed the action. The phrase by plus doer of the action is only used when it is important to know who performed the action. For example, the song was sung. The song was sung by my favorite singer. Only transitive verbs can be used in the passive. Intransitive verbs such as happen, seem, sleep cannot be used in the passive form. Try typing a sentence using passive in each tense. Okay, do you remember what is a passive voice? I remember it's when the action is more important than the subject. Okay, that's one. That's the logical explanation. Do you remember the grammatical explanation? Uh, not, I mean, I remember that you, you need to use the, <clears throat> the verb in past participle and the, the comment it's first like, the TV is watch, for example, but you don't mention any subject. You don't say that who's watching the TV, just the TV is being watched, for example. Exactly. Okay. The action is only used. Let me see here. The passive is most often used when it is not known or it is not important to know who performed the action. Okay. When, when you use an active voice, the subject does the action. Remember, the cat is going to eat the mouse. Do you remember that? The cat is going to eat the mouse. Who's going to do the action? The cat. So the cat is the subject. The mouse is the object, correct? Yes. yes. Now, if we change that, if we say the mouse is going to be eaten by the cat. It's a passive voice because now we put this object first and the subject last. So what it's explaining here, it says a passive voice is not important who does the action. What's important is what's going to happen. Example. Many people are going to be killed. Oh, no, no that was a stupid example. Yeah, let me use that stupid example. <laughs> Many people are going to be killed in the war. Do you understand my expression? Many people are going to be killed in a war. 
Now, who's going to kill them is not important. It's a war. What is important, unfortunately, that many people will be killed. Do you understand? Mm, not teacher. Could you explain, please? Okay. If I give you an example, many people will be killed in the war. Do you understand that? Yes. It's not necessary for me to say many people will be killed in the war by the soldiers. Yes, because it's obvious, the, the obviously is the conflict are going to kill those people, correct? Yes. So here, what we're doing in a passive voice, we are omitting who's doing the action. We're not giving importance. We're just giving importance to the, to the, um, to the result. Example, in this moment, there is a surf competition in El Tunco. Correct? Yes. yes. So many locals will be, um, will, many locals will be, como se dice beneficiados? Oh my God, I forgot. E. Today is one of those days that I forget words. All day I've been forgetting words. <laughs> Ronald has company. She's my cousin and we were completing the platform today. And I told her that she could like listen to the class in case she wants to learn something. Because Hello? she stopped uh, learning English in basic but she knows basic English. So, but she was able to complete the platform today. So I told her that she could be maybe in intermediate level. You know what? That's a good idea. Hi, cousin. Hello, cousin. What is your name? Listen, class, listen to this. this we're going to do a, 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 what is your name? Nicole. Where do you live? Don't do this. Hey, Ronald. Here, here. <laughs> she gets nervous. I'm sorry. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Nicole, how old are you? Uh, tw 20, 20, 21. 21. Do you work or do you study? I study. Oh, good. Okay, class. What do you think? What do you think, Nicole, about Nicole? Do you think she's good in English? I don't know because remember what I told you a long time ago? She only answered Nicole here. 21, you're 21, correct? And I study. Now listen to this, Nicole. Answer complete. What is your name? My name is Nicole. Very good. Where do you live? I am live in. No, I live. I live in. Ronald. I live in Ilopango. How old are oh. you? Uh, I am twenty-one. All right. Very good. Thank you, Nicole. Do you see class the importance? Nicole, always answer complete. Always, because there we understand. So Nicole, you have good comprehension. Comprende bien? Class, si o no, del 1 al 10, cuanto le dan de comprehension? 10? 10. Eight. Yep. Ten. Eight. She never said what? Huh? Okay, good. Okay, eight. Let's say eight. What about fluency? I will say eight. Eight? Okay, good. She can yeah. improve. Yeah. But she was fast. 
She's yeah. working good. What about grammar? Ah, for me, your grammar, maybe it's a five. So, ahí está tu punto, Nicole, el grammar. Cuando estudias inglés, enfócate más en el grammar. Ahí está tu punto. Porque she forgets the, the verb to be. Yes. Porque comprehension y fluidez está bien. En comprensión y fluidez. En gramática es. Que I will, ayuda. Also, yes? I would say that she needs to work in confidence. Oh, yeah. Because as Ronald mentioned, she forgot the verb to be. And that is something that, that happened to me. Because uh, when I get nervous, I start forgetting everything. Maybe I know the grammar, I know the rules, but if I get nervous or my confidence is not enough good, I start to forget a lot of things. Yeah, that's true. So yeah, confidence is very important, I, I would say. Oh, okay, yeah. Okay, good. Do you see this? Do you know what this is? Nope. Nope. It's a bottle of cream or something like that. In Spanish, it's taco, but I don't know how to say it in English. Powder? It's, it's baby powder. Baby powder. Do you know that uh, mycena is the same as uh, talco, baby powder? Sorry. Really? Yeah. Actually, uh, so the companies you, that make you can, that you, you can eat this <laughs> no but you can use uh, my Cena's baby powder mm. today I did something bad what did you do um, yesterday my friend he came to visit me and I work in my house, so so when he left, so I I am alone all day in my house always. And um, remember, I told you I am allergic to cats. So my friend, he came to visit me. No, he actually came to pick something up. He he came and my salut salut. And when he left, he saw a cat. And he got the cat, he put it in my house inside. Se fue. You know. <sighs> Idiot. So, he knew. He knew. Oh yeah. Was... Yeah, that's why he did it. That is so mean. Yeah, it is. <laughs> so and I start hearing noise because I work in a room. Like the, the hell? <laughs> You know, and I hear more noise and, and I go and who is there? Who is there? And when I look, it was a stupid cat. And, and you know, so it was difficult to get the cat to go outside. So today I got baby powder and I put it inside his car in the air conditioning. So I can't, I can't wait for tomorrow morning to see what's going to happen. Uh -oh. <laughs> so, so tomorrow morning, I will receive a phone call from him. I don't know why, but I think that is your turn <laughs> tomorrow. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so that's why that's why I have the baby powder here. So today I went to his house, I took the car keys and I started putting the, the baby powder inside the car, the, the, the air conditioning. So tomorrow when he turns on the air conditioning, I hope, I wish, I wish I could be there. But I to see his reaction, like what? But yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> All right. So so do you understand what is the passive, right? Yes. You, so so remember, basically, when we say passive, um, 
really it's not important who does the action because sometimes it's obvious, it's obvious who does the action. So we don't need to say it, but what is important, what happens in the action? Who can give me an example in future of a passive voice? If it no. was an example, future in the passive voice, right? Yeah. It could be the TV will be watched by 3 p.m. Until 3 p.m. Until 3 p.m. Mm -hmm. Okay. Or it could be the soccer match will be played until 3 p.m. then. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah, that, that's a good one. Hold on, let me check one. El Salvador will play soccer and in Japón, right? So <laughs> Andan una gira en Japón, lo único que está en esa gira es que van a ser derrotados. ¿Por quién? No importa, con cualquiera que jueguen los van, los van a dar una gran taleguiada, ¿verdad? Right? Entonces, eso es una voz pasiva. Like, El Salvador will be beaten in, in every soccer game. Ahora, si lo quiero hacer más largo y aburrido, El Salvador will be beaten by Japan. El Salvador will be beaten by um, China. I, I don't know where they are at this moment. So that, that one is not an, a passive voice, right? So that is going to be the, the other side. Not no, no, actually, no, it is a passive voice. It is a passive voice because... I am saying the object first, not the subject. What I'm saying that in this case, in this case, in a passive voice, you can omit the subject. So if I say El Salvador will be beaten by Japan, that would be the complete sentence. Oh, okay. Japan is the subject. But usually, normally, when we speak passive, we omit the subject. Oh, okay. Let me give you an example. Imagine the next government, FMLN wins the presidency. What will happen to many people? A lot of people will be, will be get fired. Okay, a lot of people will get fired, good. A lot of people will get killed. Because imagine if FMLN liberan a todo el seco. <laughs> oh, that's. Oh, yeah. Revenge. Then, revenge, yes. Example, right? Okay, so then that is a passive voice. Now, very good, Dennis. You said a lot of people will get fired. Obviously, by the government. Yes, it's not necessary to say the government because it's logical. Yes. Y si uno dice, si liberan a los del secor, a lot of people will be killed by the gangsters. Okay, so. So here it says instructions. Complete the sentence with the correct form of the verb in parentheses. Sometimes more than one answer one answer is possible. No capital letters or periods are needed. Webcams are used, will be used in the future to broadcast college classes. <laughs> Imagínense que tan viejo es este ejemplo. Este ejemplo estaba diciendo que las webcams serán usadas en el futuro para hacer clases.
Ya lo estamos haciendo. Class, me, me escuchan, porque realmente me siento bien claro cuando hablo yo solo, solo. solo yes, me... teacher. Okay, thank you, man. Please talk. Yes, yes, teacher. Thank you. Okay. Sí. Okay, so number one, thousands of computers are ready. Are infected? Have been infected. Have been infected by spyware. We can use that. More freeware will be released soon for all kits of application. For all kinds of applications. This is wrong. Thousands of blogs. Okay, we'll start. Recently, more hotspots. We'll set up. In this case, I think are being. You know why? Because it's saying recently. Okay. Mm -hmm. When it says recently, that means it's active. Nowadays, teen chat rooms. are monitored. These days, podcasts have been downloaded. Really, or are being downloaded? Oh, yeah. I, I think it's are being downloaded. We'll see. Soon, viruses. OK, soon, that means Listen to that, soon. That means it's not in this moment or in the past. It will happen. So soon viruses will be created. Will be created that no security software can detect. Webcams. Um, are going to be used are going to or will be used? Okay, good. Mm. The fifth one is missing being or being. Oh yeah, because it's... I bet, I, watch, one is gonna be wrong, yeah. And the, the third one is, is, are being started. Have been set up. I'm sorry, I didn't put the, the verb. So number six, these days podcasts are being downloaded. The, the fourth one is have been set up. We waste this one wrong. Oh, let me see that one. Oh, the end. Soon viruses will be created. Will be created. Oh, created at any point. Oh man, and ninguna puse that verb. Have been infected, yes. So, start, we being a star. Or no? Okay, here both are right. Thousands of blogs are being started. Okay on all sorts. But the, the previous video, I watched it and uh, all the all the answers were based on the previous video. Oh, that's why. Okay. So there you go. Here's a perfect example. What's happening in El Salvador with Mareros right now? They are being captured. Very good. Perfect example. They are being captured. Porque no dijo by the police or the army. Or, is it important? No. 
Well, yeah, it is important, but it's logical. By who? It's obvio que lo hace, right? So in this yep. case, in this case, that's the perfect example. In El Salvador, Mareros are being captured. Okay. Yes, that, that was a good example. So we omitted, or you can say the complete. In El Salvador, Mareros are being captured by the police or the government. Okay, let's see the next. Let's do the listening exercise. How do you feel about the internet? A. Listen to Edward, Ting, and Maria talking about how they use the internet. Who do you think is the most enthusiastic about the internet? Our question today is, how do you feel about the Internet? Call in and let us know. Here's our first caller. What's your name? It's Edward. Hi, Edward. How do you feel about the Internet? Well, I use it every day at work. It's true that it makes my life easier. Email and instant messaging are especially useful for me at work. When I'm at home, I do a little online shopping because it's just so convenient. There's no doubt that it's a useful tool, but it's not healthy to spend too much time with it, if you ask me. Okay. Thanks, Edward. Let's take another call. Hello? What's your name? I'm Ting. How do you feel about the Internet, Ting? Well, basically, I'm the outdoorsy type, and I'd much rather be kayaking or hiking than web surfing. But I'll admit that the Internet is the best place to get the news. So I'll go online for a couple of minutes a day. Plus, I'm taking this class that's only offered online. So I have to use the internet for that class and to do homework for it too. So I'd have to say that online is not my favorite place to be. Fair enough, Ting. We've got time for one more call. Hello, what's your name? Maria. How do you feel about the internet, Maria? Well. I don't know how I'd live without it. I use it at work, of course, but that's only the beginning. As soon as I get home, I log on to my favorite chat room to talk to my friends. We've all got webcams set up so we can see each other, too. Plus, I'm always downloading the latest computer games I love to play. Oh, and I've just started my own blog. When I'm online, I'm having so much fun that I sometimes forget the time and... Well, that's all we have time for today. Tune in again tomorrow for this special show. <laughs> I'm sorry. Maria is... What's number one? Maria. Oh, good class. Mm -hmm. Maria. You know, I'm sorry. I don't know why they sent me the, the platform this time with all the answers. Okay, number two, listen. Don't look. Okay, let's listen to number two. Our question today is, how do you feel about the Internet? Call in and let us know. Here's our first caller. What's your name? It's Edward. Hi, Edward. How do you feel about the Internet? Well, I use it every day at work. It's true that it makes my life easier. Email and instant messaging are especially useful for me at work. When I'm at home, I do a little online shopping because it's just so convenient. There's no doubt that it's a useful tool, but it's not healthy to spend too much time with it, if you ask me. Okay. Thanks, Edward. Let's take another call. Hello? What's your name? I'm Ting. How do you feel about the Internet, Ting? Well, basically, I'm the outdoorsy type, and I'd much rather be kayaking or hiking than web surfing. But I'll admit that the Internet is the best place to get the news. 
so I'll go online for a couple of minutes a day. Plus, I'm taking this class that's only offered online, so I have to use the internet for that class and to do homework for it too. So I'd have to say that online is not my favorite place to be. Fair enough, Ting. We've got time for one more call. Hello, what's your name? Maria. How do you feel about the internet, Maria? Well, I don't know how I'd live without it. I use it at work, of course, but that's only the beginning. As soon as I get home, I log on to my favorite chat room to talk to my friends. We've all got webcams set up so we can see each other too. Plus, I'm always downloading the latest computer games I love to play. Oh, and I've just started my own blog. When I'm online, I'm having so much fun that I sometimes forget the time and... Well, that's all we have time for today. Tune in again tomorrow for this special show. Okay, who's into the chat rooms? Maria. Um, Maria. Who's into news? Tim. Tim. Who's into the webcam? Maria. 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 Who's into downloading? Maria. Maria. Computer games? Maria. Maria. Blogs? Maria. Maria. Email? Um, Edward. Edward. Instant messaging? Edward. Edward. Online courses? Team. Um, Who? Team. Team, the second girl. Okay, online shopping? Edward. All right, we're cool. Uh oh. Maria. Oops. Ah, Maria. I have a question. Let me see. Allison, how old are you? I'm 26. 26. Claudia Giron? Oh, yeah, you're 22. Sorry? No, no, Claudia Giron. 22, 23, I think. Ronald is young. Dennis is young. Younger than. I have a question. Do you guys appreciate? Do you understand appreciate? Yes. Do you guys appreciate internet, the technology? Yes, I do. <laughs> do you guys imagine how it was before? Mm, I didn't understand the question. Okay, I was reading. I was reading that um, with technology, including Facebook and all that, the majority of people that use mostly Facebook or YouTube are people over 40 years old. Do you know why? You said that the majority of people that use YouTube and Facebook are older than 40. 40, they are lay, uh, adults. They're adults, ah, 30 and okay. over. Maybe it is because, let's see. Because okay. younger people is, is, is updated every time that a new app is yeah. being released. Mm -hmm. Younger people is is up is up to date. So. Have you have you noticed that older people have Facebook but they don't have Instagram, and younger people have Instagram but they don't have Facebook? Yeah. Yes. Why do you think that is? Um, maybe it's the purpose of the social media because, for example, TikToks. TikTok is our quick videos. And uh, for example, Instagram is now is for the 
lifestyles and something made more um, irrealist, irrealist, irrealistic. I don't know. It's, not it's real. Very, it's not real. Just, just the positive and things like that. And I, I also have Facebook, and Facebook is more. I don't know why. But uh, and the videos are more like telenovelas, and in uh, in something like that. And okay, all right, Ronald. Ronald, hi. Do you have a girlfriend? Yes, I do. Have you met her parents? Yes, when I was like seventeen. Okay. Did you ask permission? Yes, I did. Oh, okay. Wow, you did it the old school. People don't do that, but I wanted to because I wanted to show her that I was a serious person and I was not going to make fun of her or play with her. Good. Okay, the reason why I'm asking you this, and Allison, is because 20 years ago or more, that didn't exist. When a boy liked a girl, we had to call her house. Her house, not her. Her house and sometimes the father. Hello. Boom. You immediately hang up. Yeah. Like. So um, more than 20 years ago, if we had homework, we had to go to a library. You know, we have to do some research, the history of, I have of to. India. Yeah. But now everything is so easy with the internet. Yeah. Now, People like, uh, I imagine, like maybe Dennis, Ronald, you were born into the world of internet. So for you, it's normal. And it's so normal that quizá no la presen mucho because it's something normal. For, I, I see it in my son. I see it in my son. When he gets a telephone, he starts like, he immediately starts touching it, you know, and he knows wh wh where to go and how to use it. He will never, yo le enseño un teléfono que tenemos de marcar. He doesn't know. So the reason why adults are using internet, uh, Facebook more, is because nostalgia. Nostalgia. For example, hey, encontré mi... mi Mi clase, mi, mi promoción. Hmm. You know, uh, you know, maybe you studied in, I don't know, Colegio Bautista, Promoción 96. And then you see other people connected. Hey, Juan, hey, I remember Juan. And then, you know, you start connecting to people. And then it's nostalgia. So that's why people our age were like, wow. Now, people your age, it's normal. I have okay. a teacher. I have a teacher, but I have a teacher that uh, like three or four years ago, she shared uh, a picture of of us when I was like six or five years old. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's nostalgia. So, you know, and then you start, and then you start remembering Hey, ¿cómo es que se llamaba mi amigo de la infancia con el que jugaba pelota? Jorge Fernández, whatever. And you start looking for Jorge Fernández. And then you see, and then you know, you know what Facebook does for amigos en común. Hey, ah, pues sí, él es, boom, boom, boom. And then you start connecting. And then you start getting addicted to that Facebook because, you know, so people do it more for nostalgia to see that, you know, to remember your good memories. So, um, yeah, so the technology is part of our life now. 
you know what I think it's easier now than before like learning a language it's way easier now than before because you can look up information at any moment you have like different dictionaries or you can search a video and exactly. it's easier to to understand everything and that's just a language anything cooking remember cooking my um my mom before she died before my mom died i really wanted her because she was losing her memory so then the doctor told me look your mother needs to be active in her memory so i was thinking como puedo hacer que mi mamá use internet and i remembered my mom loves cooking so she had many books many books of recipes you know those recipes they un tres cuartos de la, la, la. i said mom look Sopa de pata, YouTube, boom. And my mom started looking like, you know, now you don't need to read anymore. You just put the video. You, you know, so my mom, she was like, wow. Um, beef stew, asparagus, sopa de asparago, whatever. And then, you know, she started using YouTube only for that. And then she got addicted to that, you know, and then her mind started activating again. So like what Ronald said, everything is easier now. Yeah. Yes. When when I moved from my parents' house, my mom created a uh, Facebook oh. by her own. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Just... but I... I, I, you know, but that's the double filo because I have a problem with my Facebook because <laughs> I don't, I don't publish stupid things, but sometimes I do publish, like I post eh, cosas de ateos, you know, <laughs> y saltan mis tías, o mis tías, you know, the, <laughs> me, you know, all people, oh, hijo, oh, you, you, oh, like, oh, man. So I block them sometimes. <laughs> you know, sometimes I start I start posting things against the Bible or against God, and then my then they, they get really really offended. <laughs> so that, that's that's why that's why young people have two accounts. Mm -hmm. So uh, th this was the thing about technology today. Imagine this this uh, kids today. They were into news, webcams, downloading. Can you imagine what technology is doing now? People don't buy the newspaper anymore. People prefer to read it online. Mm, Dude, pedidos um, ya, pedidos ya. I really use that app a lot. Can you imagine? You don't need to call anybody anymore. You just boom, 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 boom. And they come to you. <laughs> Can you imagine that technology? I remember like uh, uh, movies were like crowded uh, at any moment, but not, but by now you could go like on Saturday and it's it could be empty or half empty mm -hmm. because people don't no longer go to to movies. They watch movies in their houses or on Netflix could be. Yeah. And do you know why the majority of movies that are now coming out are family movies? Why? Because of that, because people don't go watch movies anymore. For example, if a Batman comes out, young people, they just download it. But if you're a father and a husband, you vas a la sirenita, hey, llevemos a los niños. You know, so for a family moment. And that means those are five passes that you will pay. That's why if you notice the majority of movies right now, there's a lot of um, family movies. Like it's, Fast and Furious, a family movie. No, that's not a family movie. <laughs> that's not even a date movie. That's not even a good movie, man. <laughs> no, it's not. I mean, I was a big fan because my favorite one is the first one and the second one. I think they are they are pretty good. But the other day I went to watch the last one and it was horrible. I got bored when the movie was like uh, 30 minutes past and I 
I didn't want to continue watching the movie, but I, I had paid already. So anyways, yeah. I had to join Torero and I was drinking Coronas with him <laughs> in, in the movies. You were drinking beer inside the movies? That was my first time because I wanted to take a picture drinking the Corona while Toretto was in the big screen drinking the Corona. And I wanted to, to pose a picture and say, like, I'm sharing my my moment with you. But <laughs> it was... Wait, wait, but how, how did you get the beer inside? They sell it there. It's like two fifty per Is beer. They sell beer now in, in the movies? At least the, the place where I went, yes, they, they did it. But there's a limit of four beers per person. Oh, oh I didn't know that. Yes, but the, the bad part was that the, the beer was served into a cup. A, a cup, that's right. Yes. And I and I couldn't take the picture because I couldn't show it was a corona. Wow. Okay. So it was my it was a big fail. <laughs> I remember when I used to go to the movies, I used to like buy uh, choris and put them in my socks and my calcetines and just walk in the movies. And when the lights turn off, I I start eating them. And how much were choris? You know what? Choris have really never changed the price. They were like, I remember back then they were 90 cents. I think now they're 125, correct? Mm, but now it's one dollar, I think. It's one dollar. Well, really, they have maintained their price. Mm -hmm. Do you know that's how that's how movies make money, not from the movie but from the food? Okay, let's watch the next video. Connecting ideas. Let's see what connecting ideas is. Nevertheless, you have studied a lot. It is important to keep on learning. So get ready to connect ideas. Connecting ideas formally. Additionally, as a result, for example, for instance, furthermore, indeed, in fact, Likewise, nevertheless, on the other hand, similarly, therefore. Look at the following expressions. Can you connect ideas using them? Type them on a discussion box. Okay, when you want to express an opinion, when you want to express an opinion, you say, if you ask me, or the way I see it. What do you think is if you ask me? It's like when we say in Spanish, me preguntas, and it's como lo previo a, a dar nuestra opinión, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Pero obviamente no te han preguntado, pero solo quieres dar tu opinión, right? Exactly. Mm -hmm. For example, right now in El Salvador, eh, ya ni el tema de las elecciones again. It's going to be a hot topic, you know. And I imagine. People outside of Salvador want to say, hey, ¿cómo está the situation? You know, if you ask me, I think, I think Bukele needs to win again. Or there will be chaos. Chaos. Okay, so this is just an example, right? ¿Cuál fue la pregunta que me hicieron? Hey, ¿cómo está la situación en El Salvador? Y yo di mi opinión. I could say good or bad, no, but I said, no, you know, if you ask me, I think Bukele needs to win, or I think Bukele needs to lose the next election. Whatever, but I said, if you ask me. 
So I am giving you my opinion, but you're not asking me. Okay. 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 Um, what do you think about, what do you think about Miss Universe in El Salvador? What? Sorry, ask again, please. Yeah, what, what do you think about Miss Universe in El Salvador? Ah, that's a really good question. And the way I see it, it's, it's kind of hypocrisy from the people because now people are banning or cancel other people because this is LGTB plus. But they support in Bukele because next year is going to be held in Salvador. Mm -hmm. But who is the owner of this, I mean, event? I mean, Miss Universe is a trans person. But I, I don't <laughs> think that. Not... No, yeah, but I don't think he's the owner no, anymore. Right now. right now, no. He he was the it owner. He was the last. It, right now, uh, he's, a, he's a woman. Yeah, he was the owner for many years, but he's not. Yeah. You know, if you ask me, I don't think that's beneficial for El Salvador, Miss Universe, because um, honestly, honestly, nobody watches that anymore. Uh, I'm, the way I see it is how much has Bukele to pay for it. But I don't, I don't you know, understand. it's the money. Yeah, but, you know, many people say he paid. Why would he pay for that? I mean, where, where is the evidence? You know, maybe it's possible, but, you know, that's some very good, good. But I, I'm thinking, why would a government, hey, I want Miss Universe because Miss Universe, Bukeles, it simply is it. Nobody reads Time Life magazine anymore. Nobody watches 60 Minutos anymore. Inside, nobody watches Miss Universe anymore. So that may be that may be true, but I think people always like to watch girls. In any no, no, it, any it's place. true. I it's, think Miss Universe is uh, is is watching some countries, and here, for example, we always know who win. Yes, yes, but concert. but. Miss Universe was a very big event like 10, 15 years ago. But now, really, with, because of the technology, because now people don't... Because, because it's marketing for this country. I yes. think that. No, no, it is. It is marketing. Yeah. No, no, I'm not saying it's something bad. I'm just saying it's, it's like, wow, not a big deal for me. Ahora, cuando fue en el 70, it was a big deal because... You know, you know why? Let me let me tell you. Um, because techno okay, technology. We don't read the complete newspaper anymore. We just read three sentences. So I I remember that. I remember. I'm not I'm not talking about myself. I know there are people that still watch that complete thing, but I remember it's three hours or four. Nobody watches that. They prefer to go to YouTube and watch mm, a resume. I don't think. So. Uh, I it that may be true, but uh, Miss Universe, uh, it's not just the event day. It's like one or two weeks before the event. Uh, the participants are sharing what they are doing. Or okay, okay, what... let's do one thing here. Watch, watch. I hope I'm not lying. Who watches Miss Universe completely here? Bert? No, boring. Ronald? <laughs> Claudia? No. I, I Maybe I will mm. watch it by parts, but maybe, but in YouTube, maybe. Uh, it, it's, it's like the Teleton. Nobody watches that anymore. Remember? Before, like 10, 15 years ago, it was like, wow, it was a big deal. But now nobody watches it. They they go to YouTube and resume. <laughs> but I think they have, if they, it's that event uh, made, yearly or is is it <laughs> made yearly I, I think it's yearly they i think they have like the, the the statistics of people who watch that that show so 
they could uh, ask themselves if it's going to be, I think the word is reliable, yeah. like beneficial. Podría ser beneficial. Rentable. Yeah, profitable. Profitable. So if but, but, the you know, show mm -hmm. stops providing like profit, so you they know, could stop. You know it. what? I think, I think, I think that the surf competition is bringing more attention to El Salvador now than Miss Universe. Because I was watching ESPN like two days ago, like in three different ESPNs, and frequently I see them mention El Salvador, like in the sports. Now, if you ask me what Bert said is true, I would not have, like Allison, she says that Bukele paid. I, okay, many people think he paid. I don't think he paid, but maybe he did. Nobody knows. But I don't think he did because I don't think it's very, uh, Bert said one thing very important. Um, Miss Universe is very controversial now. It's very controversial now, and um, and that could that could bring to imagining it's like a lot. Of, I don't know, even like what happened it's with more controversial. Yes, you know because right imagine, now because like, it's the is the is right now Salvador is a very controversial uh, country. No, it's not that. It's it's like it's like imagine what happened that with Mrs. Spain that it was a man and he's a woman and and this and that and now imagine that comes to El Salvador and then, I don't know so w for me right now uh, the LGBT community is a very delicate topic and I don't think it's a very good idea to bring a, a, a tournament to your country where that's a big influence Porque vas a quedar mal con uno de los dos, with the supporters or with the non-supporters you know so if you ask me, I, I don't think it was a very good idea. So that's why I don't think he paid for it. Maybe, I, I don't know. <laughs> but but, but you know that people who support Najib, they are uh, young people. You know, I think young people, they are uh, more open-minded than old mm -hmm. people. So perhaps that's why he's allowing, uh, perhaps the event is allowing uh, that community because young people, the one who are going to watch or could be more interested in that event, are going to watch it. I don't think yeah. old people would do it. They they would prefer like resting or they really read the newspaper so they could you be know, doing something else. But you know, Ronald, you said one thing. Sabes hasta que más ya no se ve tanto. Remember the Victoria's Secret catalog que hacen once a year. Ah, but I like that uh, one Victoria's because Victoria's Secret well, right now is being cancelled because the uh, the health of the models in in during their uh, Victoria's Secret models. Okay, but yeah, but when I say as a man, I think every man we watch that, like whoa. But not even that. Mm -hmm. Nobody watches that anymore. <laughs> but know? they have good good artists. I remember like popular singers they assist to that event and uh, yeah like increased, maroon like, five visibility. do you know who's going to come what uh, international artist is going to come for the panamericanos they're saying an international artist is going to be here no i haven't heard about it every every morning i listen to la tribu the radio station and I was listening to the interview of um, Jamil Bukele. And um, he, he said that the inauguration of the Panamericanos is going to be the otro nivel, the fireworks and, and, and everything. It's going to be something very special. And um, there's a surprise because an international uh, artist is going to come. Porque dijeron que el último fue Shakira en Colombia. So now, voy a ojalá no vayan a traer a estos Winsing. Bad Bunny. A, 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 a Noel, whatever. Oh, man. No. Yeah. They will bring uh, Basilos because they are the only ones uh, 
who likes coming to the country every single year and they just sing four four songs. Yeah. I remember they went to a Talos Christmas party, Basilos once. Oh, Los Rabanes, they come here every day. Mm -hmm. All right, Kat, so that, that's, that's technology. One of the things I really, really love about technology that lo que manejamos is Waze. Waze and, and Google Maps. I really, I really love that because if you drive, Waze is the best thing, man. Cruza a la derecha, vete recto. You know, it tells you the best option. Eso era algo que I, I never imagined that 20 years ago, that there was going, my telephone was going to tell me where to go. Yeah. Okay, class. Hmm? No, actually, I, I was going to mention that even it's very useful for people that is driving without a driver license because ways show you where a police is or where yeah. uh, stuff like that. So for people that drives without a driver license, it's very useful because they, they take the decision to take another way. But you know, that's good, but really it's bad. Yeah, it, it has a bad part because if there is someone that is, uh, I don't know, maybe a crime, right? Mm -hmm. He's doing a crime. It is going to help him to avoid the police and continue with the with those stuff. So yes. Yeah, it has a really bad part. Yes, it's like uh, I was reading that the motorcycle drivers like the majority, maybe 80% of the, of the motorcycle drivers, they don't have a license. Yeah. So, o sea, good for them, but that means that they don't understand la regla de transito. That's the problem. You know, so yeah, it's good for them, but bad for the people around that are driving because, you know, imagine your wife or your son driving and then you don't know what crazy people they are driving around. But the majority of people, they got the driver's license and they don't even know how to drive. So I think it, it's the same because there's people, they are like uh, giving away those, those driver's license. Anyone could get one and they don't even know how to drive. I always get upset because of that, because that's why there is a lot of traffic and accidents well you know what for me it was difficult to get a driver's license i took the test three times no i mean it's el easier teórico. now oh yeah el teórico i really hated that stupid test i Even remember my sister got got it really right now there is an app that to practice the questions for the theoric exam I remember there's a, there's there's one example. No, but you know, you always learn something. You always learn something because I remember el teórico que es como era. Las, los rótulos azules son turísticos, los verdes son de direcciones. O sea, stuff like that. Siempre aprendes algo nuevo. You know, like, oh, really? I, nunca me había fijado. But I remember there was there was a picture of hands like this. Ikayawa. Y decía, ¿qué es esto? A, lugar de descanso. B, un baño. O C, lugar para lavarse. And I was like, what the f What the hell? You know, Lugar and what's the answer? So I remember I put I put bathroom, pero no, es que, no, no, I put um lugar para lavarse because I said no, los de baño son siempre the tri the circle and the triangle, right? The boy and the woman. Entonces no no puede ser baño, yo. Y decía obvio, lugar para bañarse y habían dos manos lavarse y dos manos lavándose, right? 
la saco mala. Guay, es un baño. What? What? Literalmente dice ahí lavarse y te, ahí, ahí las manos se están lavando. Yo nunca he visto esa señal y hasta el día de hoy nunca he visto esa señal en mi vida en ningún lugar. So I don't know where they invent that. Y lo volví a tomar y lo volví a tomar. Y me dio cólera. Después me di cuenta que en Metroganga vendían los exámenes. For like ten dollars. Quince ya hechos. <laughs> okay, class, I will see you tomorrow. Have a wonderful day. Thank you, teacher. Wonderful night. Thank you, teacher. Bye. 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 Good night.